Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay and today I am showing you my pamper evening routine that I do to relax and unwind after a long day or if I just feel like having a bit of chill out time. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and I have filmed this video over the space of a couple of days. I did have a few kind of filming problems um, so I've tried to make everything kind of match up as well as I could but if something doesn't quite then that is why. So without further ado, let's get started. Started. So I filmed the majority of this video on an evening where I'd just come back from a fitness class and after working out really hard I always think it's nice to come home and relax and reward yourself but the first thing I always do when I come home is get something to eat because I'm usually starving and on this particular evening Henry had cooked pasta bolognese which was super super yummy and uh, that is me tucking into the cheese bowl because even if I've just been working out I still have to have a bit of cheese because I'm obsessed. Um, after I have eaten, I would then either go have a shower or a bath. I decided to have a bath on this night because I was feeling particularly tired and lazy and I thought, well, what not? What is not a better way to relax? I always have to have a lush bath bomb when I have a bath. It is kind of like a bit of a law for me. And luckily my uh, lush collection is looking quite topped up right now because I had a bit of a haul last month. And the bath bomb I'm going to be using today is the Twilight Bath Bomb. Um, I think it's quite a classic one from their collection and it's got ingredients such as lavender, which is really good for like relaxing and making you feel quite sleepy. It turned the colour um, of the water like this light pink, but it also had like turquoise bubbles and then finally finished on a purple colour, which I thought was really, really cool. And it smelled amazing. I think the bathroom smelled good for about two days after I used this, so I will definitely be getting this bath bomb again. So whilst I'm in the bath, I usually wash with my favourite soap and glory products. Um, usually shave my legs because there's nothing better than getting out of the bath and feeling like a silky dolphin. I also usually wash my hair and sometimes put on a face mask. I also like to sit and watch something in the bath because usually I'm not very good at just sitting and relaxing and on this particular evening I caught up with um, the latest TOWIE episode. I do like watching reality shows like TOWIE because I think they're very easy to watch and you don't really have to think about it which is good when you're a bit of an overthinker like me. So I tend to just kind of laze around in the bath, watch some TV, watch some YouTube and then it's time to get out. I'll put on some PJs and these are from Misguided. They are very much inspired by the Victoria's Secret ones and I love them. I'll then dry my hair. Um, I'm really a big fan of the uh, Keratines, I think it is, the Elixir oil. Really, really like that. I've been using it for a couple of years now and I'm almost out of it so I must get some more. So I just tend to kind of half dry my hair with my hair dryer and then leave the rest of it to naturally dry and we'll put it up in a bit of a top knot when it is all dry. And after that, I will then decide whether I need to do some more pampering or not. Usually I will do a little bit more because I'm not quite ready to go to bed. And yeah, this is just me brushing my hair, making sure there's no knots. And I usually put on my dressing gown because this is from Promark and it's so cozy. I've literally lived in it since I got it at Christmas. So next I will either do something like paint my nails um, which I am actually going to do in a bit or I'll do some other things. Um, sometimes I will kind of maybe wax my upper lip which is not very relaxing or glamorous which I'm not doing tonight or I will tint my eyebrows which is what I'm actually going to do now. I have recently had my eyebrows threaded so I thought this would be a really good way to make them look a little bit more polished. So the kit that I use to tint my brows at home is the Colour Sport 30 Day Brow Tint in Dark Brown. Um, it's really, really easy to use and I think it just makes my brows look a lot more polished and kind of done, if that makes sense. I don't wear a lot of makeup day to day when I work from home, so this just kind of saves me having to put in eyebrow like powder or gel or anything like that at all. So it just kind of saves me a little bit of time in the morning. It's really, really simple to use, like I said before. All you do is mix the developer lotion and the uh, dye together in a little palette. And then you use the small brush that comes with the kit to just pop onto your brows. I will just say, please make sure that you do a patch test just to make sure you rule out any sensitivity or reaction to the dye 
do this 48 hours before using it and you can pop it behind your ear or in your elbow just to make sure you're not allergic to anything and then you leave the dye on your brows um, for kind of one to two minutes I tend to leave it on for about one minute because I don't want my brows to be too dark I just literally want them filled in a little bit um, I think the kit costs something like £8.25 from Boots and you get around 16 applications so it means that it's a lot more cost effective than going to a salon who usually charge like five to ten pound each time so that's really really good so yeah i just tend to brush it onto my brows and then just kind of wait for about a minute and then i will dampen some cotton wool and just kind of wipe it off so it's super super simple to do and i find it almost quite therapeutic to do which is a little bit strange but i just find it quite relaxing it kind of takes my mind off things and well, you know, if my eyebrows are going to look good at the end of it, then that always makes you feel a little bit better too. I don't really notice like a huge difference with my brows. I just feel like it makes them a bit more kind of less patchy, gives them a kind of better darker colour and definitely saves me a lot of time in the morning because I don't really feel like I need to fill them in in the morning, which is amazing. This also lasts for about 30 days as well, well up to 30 days, so that's really really good. And it would be really really good to do if you're going on a holiday um, or you don't particularly want to be wearing a lot of makeup. It's also really good if you've got very light brows because it will save you having to fill them in every single day. And it's just something that I just quite like to do when my eyebrows have been threaded because I think it just kind of makes them look a little bit more polished and that I guess it's the whole eyebrows on fleek kind of thing it just kind of makes me feel like my eyebrows are looking a lot better than what they were before so yeah so that is what I tend to do about once a month every four weeks when I've had my brows threaded and um, once I've done that I will then paint my nails I decided to paint my toenails actually on this evening they needed doing and I'm using the shade SE Fiji and Sec V which helps to dry my nails super super quickly I've got Blossom Dandy by Essie on my fingernails if you're wondering and then after this I will either go back through to the living room and I will chill watching TV with Henry and Frank and um, kind of depends on what Henry's watching or how tired I'm feeling but usually I'll have a bit of a cuddle on the sofa with them and if I don't particularly want to watch TV or I feel ready for bed then I will go into bed and read. I really like reading at the moment before bed, I feel like it is better for making you feel tired than looking at your iPhone or a computer and I just think it takes your mind off things if you're a bit of an overthinker like I am. Um, I also do other things like sometimes I'll take tan but I don't tend to do that too often. Um, so yeah I also do my skincare routine before bed, I've cut my skincare routine down recently and the two products I really love are the Glycolic Acid Toner by Mario Podescu and this Antipodes face oil. And then again, once you've kind of letting me sink in, I will go back to bed and do a bit more reading. Then after that, I pretty much head to bed feeling nice and relaxed and chilled. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's, this routine isn't what I do every single night, obviously. Um, it's kind of about once a month or just whenever I want a bit of a chill out time. I definitely am a big believer in making time for yourself and sometimes a pamper evening is exactly what you need after a long stressful day. And I just really enjoy doing this kind of thing. I think it's very good for your mental health and if you're a bit stressy like I am. So yeah, so let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future or maybe a few more routine videos. I love making them, so let me know if you'd like to see more. Apart from that, I hope you'll have a lovely, relaxed day, evening, wherever you may be. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.